In this video, I'm going to show you how to create text that is within a bounded box in both Adobe Photoshop and Premiere. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. All right, I've got a quick tutorial for you this week, so let's dive in. I'm working in Premiere version 23.2.0, so if yours is older or newer, it might look slightly different. So the other day I was trying to constrain my text in Premiere to a bounding box. I wanted to be able to type freely and not have the text run off the end of the screen. And I didn't want to keep hitting enter when I got to the end of the line and adjusting and readjusting. This is really easy to do, but if you don't know how to do it, you're going to waste a bunch of time. So here you go. First, select your type tool by hitting T on your keyboard. Then click and drag to create the size box that you want. Now you can click inside the box and start typing and your text wraps, voila. And this also was the case in Adobe Photoshop, same deal. Select the text tool, click and drag, and you've got a text box. Except in Photoshop, it'll give you a little lorem ipsum text to type over. But there you go. So the next time you want to keep your text confined to a certain area, use a bounding box by selecting your text tool, clicking and dragging. All right, let's do that tip. You might know this already, but for those of you who don't, here you go. Did you know that you can have more than one text box in a single clip? Of course you can. Hit V on your keyboard for that selection tool, click on your existing text box, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and plain old V for that selection tool, then drag the second box over here. See, one text clip, two text boxes. So the next time you need a bunch of text in different places on your frame, don't worry about making multiple text clips. Just make multiple text boxes in one clip. Easy peasy. All right, as always, if you found any of this to be helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.